Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott Clark with Scooter Media and in today's video, we're talking about Track Club. What I think is the best music licensing subscription service there is for your videos. Let's get into it. Before we jump into the computer and show you exactly how Track Club works, I just wanna tell you a few features that Track Club has that sets it apart from the competition. The first one being they are the first and only company to offer 100% customizable music in their catalog. Meaning you can go in there and change the volume of different instruments, of the vocals. You can mute and turn down things. You can change the beats per minute. We're gonna show you all that, but that is what I think sets Track Club apart from all of the other companies. They also cover everything you need to power your videos, including instant copyright clearance, stem downloads, as well as a meticulously curated small batch catalog. Track Club is also the first music licensing company on the planet to invest 10% of all profits back into community organizations, which I think is another thing that the company has going for it. So why don't we jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the music in your videos. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the internet, we're gonna type in trackclub.com and hit enter, that's gonna open it up for us here and we'll enlarge our screen. So when you jump into Track Club, the first screen you're gonna see is the songs screen. And basically you can start here if you'd like and what they've done is they've list all of the songs down the page and you know there's 72 pages of songs right off the bat that you could go through. If you do wanna narrow your search, they do have these smart filters. So along the top here, if I click on the first one, it says vocals. Now within there, you can choose to have no vocals. So that's gonna list songs that have no vocals. Male vocals are gonna obviously give you songs with male vocals, female vocals. So we can go in here and basically filter down whatever it is that you're looking for in your music or songs. The next option is the mood. So in here, you know, you got different moods that you could choose, dark, emotional, exciting, light, you know, we can definitely just pick any one of those. Uh, we could also use genre. So we've got country, dance, electronic, all the different genres that you can go in there and choose as well. In here, you could pick, if you're looking for a certain instrument for your song, you can go in here and pick, you know, you've even got the glockenspiel. <laughs> but you can go in here and pick a certain instrument or something that you're specifically looking for in the song. They also have energy, so you can go, you know, if you're looking for something really high energy for sports or something like that, you could go in there with that. If you're looking for something a little lower, you could go with low energy. Uh, the next option is arc, and basically what that's going to do is that's gonna give you basically the flow of the song. So you see our first option there is ascending, meaning it's gonna basically start off a little slow and build as the song progresses. The next one below that's gonna be the opposite. It's gonna start out a little bit faster and then kind of gradually get slower. But basically the arc section is how the song plays out over the time that it's playing. The next option is our length. You can go in there if you had a specific length of the song that you wanted to use, you can go in there and set that. And then the last option is beats per minute. Uh, you could pick the exact be beats per minute that you want and type it in. Or if you had a range, you can type in the range. But for now, uh, we're gonna go over, the other option we can do is we can go into the playlist section. And within here, you can just scroll through the different playlists. Again, they have filters to go through the playlists, genres, moods, themes, and then the, if you create your own playlists, they would be in here. And again, you can create your own playlists, add songs to them, and go that route. But for now, let's go back to songs. So we're back in the songs area now. And let's just say we wanted to find something here. I am looking for something with no vocals. Um, one thing I also wanted to show you in here is they have something called negative filtering. So let's say we want a song that does not have stomps and claps, for, for instance. All we have to do is double click on that. So now that we've double clicked on that, it's brought up the option here and you can see the line through it, meaning that we're not gonna get any songs with stomps and claps in them. For this next one, let's pick something high energy and is there anything else we want? 
Let's go beats for our thing. So as you can see, now that we have our filters at the top, Track Club has narrowed down our options. We now have seven pages. I believe when we started, we were at 72 pages. So now that we filtered it down, let's just listen to our first option here. And when we click play, it's gonna play the song. You can see down here at the bottom, it's playing. So we've got our song playing now. At the left-hand side, you can see the thumbnail telling us what the song is, as well as the artist. Oops, the next option here we have is the play button and the skip forward and skip reverse. Uh, here's the waveform showing you that our song is playing. You can skip forward on here wherever you want the song to play, and that does work while it's playing as well. Here's the time left in the song. Obviously your volume here, you can turn down the volume we can heart the song, and that's basically gonna put a little heart on it, which is gonna make it easier to find next time you're looking for it. We can also add this song to a playlist, and the other option there is to download the song. As I mentioned earlier, Track Club is 100% fully customizable. So what I wanna show you now is what I think is the greatest feature that Track Club has to offer, and that is called Mix Lab. And as you can see, there is a button here that says Mix Lab. You can click that to get into Mix Lab, or you can click the very far right option here on each song, and that's gonna bring up the Mix Lab. So because we were playing on my way here, if we hit the Mix Lab option there, it's gonna open up our Mix Lab at the bottom of the screen here. So now that it's open, if we scroll down here, we can see all of the different instruments that are in the song. So in here, we basically have a drum header, and below that, it's gonna be listed the drums in the song. We have a bass header, gonna have the bass guitar, and then below the other header, we're gonna have synth two, saxophone, brass, effects, vocal sample, and synth one. Now, depending on the song, you might have a few less options. You might have a whole bunch more options, just depending on what instruments and whatnot are being played in the song. So I'm gonna go in now and I'm just gonna mix my own song and show you exactly how you can manipulate all the different options. So we're gonna hit play. Let's say we wanna eliminate the drums. So now we've muted the drums. If we wanna bring them back, they're back in. If you wanna solo something, all we have now is the drums because they're soloed. If you want to turn down something, we can turn down the drums. Let's go down to the bottom. We got our vocal sample. Let's turn it down. As a matter of fact, let's just mute the whole thing. Okay, so as you saw, we were able to go in there, we we're able to mute either the instrument itself or if there's multiple instruments within the bar, you can literally mute the whole section. So you have the option of muting each individual instrument or you can use the bar here and that's going to basically mute everything that is within that section. So as you just saw, I was able to go in there and use the Mix Lab to adjust the volume on certain instruments. We were able to mute the uh, vocal sample. We turned down the drums. So we were able to basically make our own mix within the Mix Lab within Track Club. So the one last feature I wanna show you within here is this beats per minute feature. And what that's gonna allow you to do, I'm just gonna pause this for one second. So as you can see right now, we're sitting at 106 beats per minute and that is what the original song is recorded at. But what we can do, I'm gonna play the song now and I'm gonna show you that you can turn the beats up or down and it's gonna to continue to play the song as is. So we'll hit play here. Now let's go up and we're just gonna try and turn up the beats per minute here. So now we're at 126 beats per minute and as you can hear, we're definitely faster than we were, but it's still 
playing the essence of the song. Now let's try and go the other way and we'll try and make it slower. I believe it was at 106 to begin with. Let's take this down a little bit. So now we're at 86 beats per minute and this is way slower than it was. But this is such a cool feature to have within here to be able to change the beats per minute within the app itself is crazy. I know a lot of the times myself, when I'm looking for music, what happens is I like to keep my beats per minute somewhere between 80 and let's say 110. So basically what happens if I'm looking at another site and they have all of these songs above 110, I basically just don't even look at them. I just, you know, I'm gonna put my filter on from say, you know, 60 beats per minute to 110 or whatever. And then anything that's past that, I'm not even gonna look at. Whereas in here, you can grab a song. If it's too slow, you just speed up the beats per minute. If it's too fast, you just slow it down. Such an amazing feature. So anyways, let's say we're happy now. We've got our song, we're happy with it. We wanna download the song and use it in our video. If we go over to the download button, you see here we have four different options. The first one is download my mix.wave. Second one is download my mix.mp3. Third one is download original song. And the last one is download all stems. So basically the first two options, you're gonna get the mix that we've gone in and created with using the Mixlab option. The first one is a waveform. It's gonna be a slightly larger file, but the quality is gonna be better than the MP3, which is gonna be a smaller file, but the quality won't be quite as good as the WAV file. The original song is basically gonna give you a download of the original song with nothing that we've done to it. So it's basically gonna give you all of the instruments as is when it was recorded. And the last option, download all stems, is basically gonna give you all of the instruments as separate downloads, and then you can move those and place them and mute them and turn them on and off as you want, and it's gonna have all of those stems separated for you. For today's example, we're just gonna use downloadmymix.mp3 just to make it a nice, small, and easy file to use. So I'm gonna click that now. You can see here it brings up a little window saying the download is in process and this may take a few minutes. And then we should see, there it goes, download completed successfully. So to get our download, I am using a Mac here. So I'm just gonna go to my downloads folder. It's gonna be in the same spot on a PC. And here is our song right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna open up another window where I have a video file created and within this project, I do have a music folder. So I'm just gonna drag that from the downloads into the music folder. And we can close this guy. And then I'm gonna open up Premiere Pro, which is my video editor. Then what we can do is we can just drag that song into Premiere Pro. And then we can literally drag that onto our timeline. And there we go, we can see now we've got our music. It's playing, if we wanted to add some video on there, we can. So there we go guys, we've got a video on there. We've got our music playing. And again, you're free to use this music in your video, then you would upload the video to YouTube or whatever service it is you're using. So we've added our music to the video, we've exported the video, and now we wanna upload the video to YouTube and we wanna ensure that we're not gonna get a copyright claim. And to do that, we just have to make sure within Track Club that we go to our account settings and then over to channels. And as you can see, all of the various social media platforms are listed here and all you have to do is add in your URL for your channel or website or username depending on the option here and that's gonna ensure that you're covered for your YouTube channel or whatever it is that you're posting this to. So basically all I'm using this, the Track Club Music for is my YouTube channel and right now that's all I have in here, but that allows me to use Track Club on YouTube without any copyright claims. And that is basically how to use the program. I have been super happy using this service and like I said, I have used various music subscription services in the past and I believe to be able to customize your music and be able to change the beats per minute and remove vocals and turn down drums and guitars and bass, to me that 
it is such a cool feature to have and it saves me so much time because if I find a song that I like and it has vocals in it, I just get rid of the vocals. If it has drums that are too loud, I just lower the drums. So I love the service. I will say that maybe Track Club doesn't have as many songs as some of the other services do. But in my case, I would rather have less songs and be able to customize those songs than have a whole ton of songs to have to go through and say, no, I don't want that one, I don't want that one, I don't want that one. So as I mentioned earlier, I think to me, this is the best music subscription service. They do offer plans just for individuals, for uh, YouTube and that kind of thing. They do offer business plans and they do offer uh, elite business plans for larger companies as well. So you've got every base covered here. And if you're interested in trying out Track Club for yourself, please click on the link in the description and that's gonna give you one free month full access to Track Club and you can start using that amazing Mix Lab feature to start mixing your own music within Track Club. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference and I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. Thanks for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.